Hey everybody, my name is Jared James Nichols, and um, I have the pleasure of showing you these brand new amps, which I've been a Blackstar user for uh, over five years, and I've played every model, and I've always needed something that was heavy enough that I could do a lot of the, you know, the rock, metal style, but also it had enough warmth and class where I was able to get the blues breakup in tones that I needed when I wasn't completely rocking out. So I've been able to put the 15 and the 30 through their paces. And um, the first thing I want to say is that these amps are totally killer. Don't judge the package of how small they are with the way that they're going to sound. Because if you're anything like me, looks are, looks are everything. But at the same time, you just need it to work anytime. So we're going to start with the 15. I'm just going to take you through the basics of the tones and both amps are two channel amps with six L6s and we're going to start with the clean channel on the 15. So it's a real real good because usually a, a, a different kind of clean you know you're kind of stuck but with this one you can go anywhere from the soft <laughs> nice breakup, easy breakup, at, at a volume that's workable. So, you know, if, if I'm playing in a bar or a small club, this is a perfect sound and a perfect style just to break through without, you know, getting yelled at by the sound guy. So once again, very simple setup. I'm just going to turn some knobs on it. It's such an easy channel, too. It's literally a volume and a tone. And you can get away with so much with just that. <laughs> And once again, don't let, don't let it fool you. As basic as that channel is, there's so many different tones for a studio setting that, that, are, that would just be incredible. We're going to move on to channel two, which is more of like a, a, a standard, you know, you have your bass, middle, treble, just a standard guitar channel. And, um, but it also cascades into, into a higher gain setting. So here's channel two. And the cool thing about this channel that I love is that it's so expressive in dynamics where you can literally, you can just pick out notes and it's, and it's musical and, it's, and it, there's no tin to the sound. <laughs> And once again, I'm plugged straight into the amp. Uh, that's no pedals, that's just straight up. And uh, a cool thing also, the reverb that's built in. Check this out. So there's a lot of reverb, a lot of stuff to work with. That's just simple features on the amp that actually work and they actually do something. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the amp a little bit. I'm going to play one of my ori original tunes called Gone. And I'm just going to show you some of the features going channel by channel, getting the most out of each one. So here we go. So this is channel one. up very nicely what you can hear. But it still has the flexibility that you can play some lead. With the breakup. little reverb to this channel.
gonna move into channel two, which is more of the, the overdrive channel. What I love about this amp though is that even though you're on the overdrive channel, it's all in your tone and your volume knobs in order to really make it sing. Start nice and easy from a whisper to a scream, which is great. You can hear me kick it in with the simple roll of the volume. What I'm gonna do is right in front of the amp, it's so touch responsive with pedals, I'm gonna play a little solo just with a delay. back to the grind. Here comes the uh, clean channel. For a 15 watt amp, it's pretty cool. Um, but now I really want to move on to the 30 watt, which which for me is really the deal sealer, because we just got off tour. We were out with Glenn Hughes and Doug Aldrich all over Europe, and I was using a, a 50 watt Black Star, and in some of the clubs, you know, I was really able to crank that thing up and and you know get the tone. But I feel like the 30 is really the ultimate package because it, it retains the clarity, but it also, you know, you can turn that thing up and you can get somewhere. So I'm gonna plug into that. Let's do this. So we're gonna start, just like we did with the other one, we're gonna start with the clean channel and you can hear where we're at. <laughs> It retains all that quality too that I love, which is clean, but it's got a little edge on it. And um, what I want to show you now is the same difference with the punch. Now this amp we're running at about we're running at about 12 o'clock. All the knobs, um, everything is is just straight center. So you know there's no this is just straight in. <laughs> nice just for a little color. What's cool about this first channel too is that you're skipping the preamp in, in general. You're just going straight to the power tube. So it's 6L6 straight straight to the sights, which I love, which you can just turn up and get that natural tone out of it. So with the vinyl. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move to channel two. I'll show you a little bit. So it still has all that bluesy flavor that you love, but you can even go into more overdrive, which is which is great. And one one side note about these amps: if anyone's like me and they're always carrying around combos and they're so heavy, 
right? These, these weigh in at about, they're under 50 pounds for sure. So if you feel this thing, you're like, whoa. So it's, it's gig ready. There's nothing about this that's, that's weighing you down in any way. So right now, what I want to talk about is the effects loop that's built in. I've never really used an effects loop in general because I never thought they sounded that good. And uh, it's really important when, when Lauren told me, you got to try the effects loop, you know, it worked. It was amazing. And so right now, all that I have in the loop is a distortion plus and just a boost and an overdrive. But I just want to show you the different tones that, you know, the, the, the transparentness of that loop and what you really get. So we'll start out, here's just channel two, straight in. Now here's the distortion plus. shortage of tone that I know of. So now I'm going to play a little bit more like guitar stuff like you'd hear at NAMM. And then uh, and we're, we're just going to, you know, show that off a little bit. We're going to start out with channel one and we're going to go through. Straight in right here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of reverb to the kite. Now we're going to start, this is uh, just a Distortion Plus, channel one. We're going to move on to channel two, get into the overdrive territory. Click on that boost one, see what that does. Now we're going to do a little solo, just full on.
Does anyone have any questions? They want to hear something? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, yeah, use a capo. Oh, give you the capo. Where is it? Where did I put that? You see it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the main thing I want to get across about these amps is if you're like me and you're looking for something that's amazingly old school but that's so modern and refreshed that you can just plug in and play, that's where this is at. This isn't, you know, this isn't really trying to be another amp. This isn't, this is its own, own tone that, you know, you, you're not going to get by just getting any tube amp 6L6. It's a really special design that, you know, and I'm proud to be, to be showing it off. And yeah, that's it. I'll play a few more licks. Closing licks. How much are they? How much are they? Lauren, they're both under, this is, uh, is this 11? Yeah, 10.99. 10.99 for the 30 watt. And this is seven? 7.99. So they're not gonna break the bank. This is, uh, it's tube tone at a real price for a real musician, you know, for someone that actually plays and. Yeah, this one, yep, they both got the gain. And this one's perfect, like I was saying before, for like the smaller clubs and in the studio setting. Let me plug into this, I'll show you something cool. Actually, crank it up a little bit. So right now, this is this is halfway up on this amp. You know, there's it's not that loud, but it has that tone that that I always have to crank my other amps up to get. Here's a straight in. That's just straight, straight channel one. There's a volume and a tone, and really you play with those. So it's pretty cool. Any questions? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really do because at the end of the day, uh, yeah, at, at the end of the day, it's, it's not necessarily relying on the equipment, but the fact is I've plugged in like multiple guitars with this, a Tele, a Strat, and not, not high-end stuff. And in the amount of shine, it, it what I love about it is it's transparent. It, it like retains the quality of the guitars that you use. Whereas a lot of amps, you get the same, same tone all the time, no matter what it is. That's, that's different with this. Every, every guitar sounds as it should. A Strat is a Strat. And um, you know I wouldn't say that I'm relying on the amp for that. But the fact is, you can't be good tone. And all I'm using is one pickup here. So it's, uh, it's yeah. The amp is that's where it's at. But, but I'm a big sucker for um, the volume knob, so literally getting all the tones that you need straight up. Um. 